As you recall in the previous training video, we learned how to create exception days or days that we're blocking out for events like holidays and vacation. Here we're going to learn how to set non-default work week or working times that are going to be different from the default working times. So for example, like let's say on the 22nd, I want to be able to start everybody's vacation off with a, a nice luncheon. So instead of working the full day, how about if we just work from instead of 8 to noon, how about from 7 to 11? and then have lunch from 11 on and they can go whenever they want. So to go ahead and set up the uh, working time so it's not the default there, choose the day, come down here and click on work weeks, click below the default uh, line there, the line item, and go ahead and type in the name of this, uh, well, the time that we're going to have off, it's going to be for a luncheon. Then go ahead and hit enter, and then you can see that when I click off of it, it's got the color over in the legend of a non-default work week. It does nothing more than just color it you can see that the time is still from 8 to noon from 1 to 5. What you have to do is after you set that day as a non-default work week by typing it below the uh, default line here, select it, come over here and click on details, and then let's see what day is that again? It's a Wednesday. Go ahead and choose Wednesday. and You, you can use the times from the default work week for these days or set the days to these uh, specific working times. So instead of you know 8 to noon, we're going to do 7. I'm going to go ahead and click here and type in 7 a.m. to go over here to 11 colon 00, 00 a.m. tab key and then click and drag these two cells hit the delete key on the keyboard click OK and let's go ahead and click off of it there we go so we still have the non-default work week color but when we select it over here it shows us instead of the default from 8 to noon with uh, lunch and then 1 to 5 it just says hey we're working from 7 to 11 that's it cool now, once you're done with applying your exception days, your non-default work weeks, be sure to click OK, because if you click Cancel, you're going to lose all this. So don't do that. Click OK. And again, if you need to make any changes to your base calendar by adding additional exception days or non-default working days, times, come up here on the Project tab to the Properties group, click on Change Working Time, and be sure to click on the drop-down arrow and select your base calendar, not your standard template here. Well, that is if you went with my suggestion to create a copy of the base calendar and give it a name that will apply to your uh, project, which is going to be my Spiffy software training manual, hence the Spiffy calendar that's going to be applied to it. So select it, come down here, make changes, click OK when you're done. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.